a solid has a circular base of radius 4. If every plane cross section perpendicular to the x axis is a square, then find the volume of the solid. So this is what the 3D shape would look like. We have a circle in the XY plane. Coming out of the XY plane are squares. The side length of the square runs from the top of the circle to the bottom of the circle. You don't have to know what the 3D picture looks like, but it looks similar to this. And so what we have to do is be able to figure out what variable are we integrating with respect to first. Since these cross sections are perpendicular to the x-axis, we'll be integrating with respect to x. And so we'll need to draw what's going on in the xy plane. We have the circle of radius 4. The blue represents the side length of a, a typical square. This, this will move from minus 4 to 4. We saw that the formula for the vo volume of by cross sections is to integrate the area of a cross section. The fact that it's a square would tell us then that we'd have to integrate the the um, the side length of this square squared. You know that the area of a square is s squared. So this side length of a square is called s. If we could figure out how long s is in terms of x, then we'd have our formula. So our cross sections are squares with side length s. Coming out of the screen is a square and the side length is this blue distance here. Well we know that the area of a square is s squared. So if we can get s in terms of x we'll be in good shape. So this distance off of the x-axis is y using symmetry this distance here would also be y <coughs> so we need to figure out then exactly what y is in terms of x well we know the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is 16 we just for for simplicity's sake, center the circle at the origin with the radius of 4, then x squared plus y squared is 16. So since the integral is done in terms of x, we were perpendicular to the x-axis. Um, since, since we were perpendicular to the x-axis. Now, we take this equation, then we need to solve it in terms of x. We solve for y. So we subtract the x squared over, and we take the square root. Now when we take the square root, we're going to get plus or minus. Now, the upper part of this circle is the positive square root, and the lower part of the circle is the negative square root. How long is s? Basically, s is y plus y, or twice y would be the best way to look at it. And so we'll just use this and get that s is two times the square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay, great. Our formula for volume by cross sections is to get this formula in terms of area, get area formula in terms of x. So we square that, square the two, we get the four, square the root, we get what's underneath. This is what we integrate. The generic formula for integrating by slicing the heart of the matter is to get this formula. Different shape will have a different formula. But with the square, we're going to have the side squared, and we went through the work to figure out what was s in terms of x. Figuring this out was the heart of the question. It's all downhill from here. We take this formula, and we integrate it. From what to what? This starts at negative 4 for x the lowest x 
and we're done when we get to positive 4 for x. Now if we pull the 4 out and we recognize that we have a minus 4 and a positive 4 as our limits of integration, whenever you have minus a and a, you can be helped out if the integrand ends up even or odd. When you integrate an even function over an interval from minus a to a, because of the symmetry that an even function has, symmetric with respect to the y-axis, whatever's on the left side will be the same as on the right side. And so what we can do then to simplify our life is to, instead of integrating from minus 4 to 4, we can integrate from 0 to 4 and double. Um, this is an even function. It's a parabola that opens down and um, and, and crosses the x-axis at 4 and negative 4. Um, and so uh, you, can know, you know a polynomial is even if all the powers are even and, and possibly there's a constant there. And so we take advantage of that. We'd much rather integrate with a lower limit of 0 than a lower limit of negative 4. Uh, we pull this 4 out. We integrate 16, we get 16x. We integrate x squared, we get x cubed over 3. So now we have to only focus on plugging in 4, because when we plug in 0, conveniently we get 0. Um, the 8 comes from the 2 and the 4 being multiplied. So to finish this out, we put a 4 in. 16 times 4 is 64. 4 cubed is also 64. Without a calculator, the best attack on this is not to put these two together. The best attack on this is to recognize the 64 in both of these terms and factor it out. Because you'd much rather deal with subtracting a third from 1 than 64 thirds from 64. So subtracting a third from 1, you get 2 thirds. And multiplying 8 by 64, we end up with uh, 512. So 512 times 2 thirds, we double the, the, the 512, we get 1024 over 3. That's the volume of this three-dimensional shape. The heart of the question, though, is to be able to get the side length in terms of x. Okay? All right.